these regular and golden Oreos I'm placing in a greased baking dish. Just kind of doing a little design like this. I think it looks really cool. Go. Now I have some sweetened condensed milk. This stuff is very, very thick. You don't have to use all of it, just kind of enough to get most of it out. Now I have some spring sprinkles. It's a nice little touch, very colorful. Next so I'm gonna do some pretzels. I know what you're thinking, it's kind of weird, but sweet and salty go very well together. And once you see one of my final steps that I'm gonna do, it'll make a little bit more sense. There we go. Now I'm gonna add some chocolate frosting. I think pretzels and chocolate go very, very well together. Look how good that looks already. I'm only going to use about half of this. Now I have some pastel M&Ms. Nice little Easter dessert. Very quick and easy for when your family comes over. All right. Now I have some classic yellow cake mix. I'm not going to follow the directions on the box. I'm just going to kind of use this as a crumble topping almost. Uh, I'm just going to spread this out. I should I cover the chocolate? Okay. That looks great. Now, the last step that I'm going to do is I have some butter squares that I cut ahead of time. This is just going to kind of help give it that golden brown color, help the cake cook a little bit. I'm just gonna layer these in a nice little pattern. This dessert's gonna taste great. Here, salt, sweet, chocolate, M&Ms. Everybody's gonna love this. Let me get this butter apart. Okay, just a little bit more. All right, now you're gonna put this in the oven on 350 for 45 minutes. All right, I just took this out of the oven. Remember, this is our Oreo dessert. We have the golden and the regular Oreos. On the bottom of that, the yellow cake mix, M&Ms, pretzels. And just to finish this off, I'm gonna take a little bit of Cool Whip. It's kinda of right in the center there. Now the best part. This looks awesome.